Hello and welcome to 24 hours at home with a newborn baby and two other kids. As you can tell, there's yelling and screaming. We've been home for about two hours. Um, we had to get some groceries on the way from picking up the kids from my parents. They'd already met them, him at the hospital. You probably saw that in our uh, first 24 hours video. If you watched that, if you didn't, I'm gonna link it up here. Um, but yeah, this is just us trying to get back into the swing of things, back to normal. Uh, it is 5.20 right now. Um, yeah, back to normal, James. Um, but the kids love the baby. He's sitting right here with us doing a puzzle. Little Robert. There's Jamesy. <laughs> but yeah, I just want to take you through first 24 hours at home with a newborn to see what it's like. And I missed the first two hours, so we'll just start. At, we'll start around five. We'll have that be the starting point. Um, but yeah, let's see where the day takes us. There's that laundry pile. No, take a bit out of this. I'm going to take a picture of me taking it. Mini update, this actually adjusting to having another baby around has been easier than I thought. The kids have actually been very good. So I am liking this and we're still doing the same things we had before. So it's good. I know that things will change over time and there'll be hard moments, but at least the first nights we're doing well. So here we are, the kids just got put to bed. I read to them and then Eric always goes up and tells them a story. So I'll read him a couple books and Eric will tell him a story. But I'm just here hanging out with the baby. I have him right here on the table next to me. Um, but I gotta do some dishes, just got some laundry done, trying to just get things literally wrapped up, put together and ready um, for the next 24 hours because I know that Right now it doesn't seem that overwhelming, but things always can just creep up on you and be pretty overwhelming. Oh, I actually have changed because I had to take a shower. My breasts are very warm. My milk is probably about to come in. I actually have in my bra right now, this little vibrating thing that's supposed to help with the milk flow. Haven't used it before with my other kids. I tried it out this time because I do remember how uncomfortable I was. Like probably the first week of breastfeeding because your milk's kind of regulating and just becoming what it needs to be. But I am about to wash my pump, LV pump. I used this with my last baby, Richie, um, and I actually repurchased it because the one that I have still works, but it's just a little weaker because I did use it for 17 months and, and I used it a lot because I am a person who overproduces. So I always have to pump before bed, usually once during the day at least, uh, and then I pump when I wake up in the morning. Uh, so it's usually a lot of milk and sometimes, especially in these early days, my milk comes in so hard and fast that I have to pump to relieve myself, which I am blessed with the overproduction. I like that, you know, it's great, but it is just a little painful when the baby's so small and they can't eat. But this LV pump, it gets a bad rap online, man. I don't know if people just don't use it correctly or <laughs> maybe it's just not meant for every breast type. I love this freaking thing. I would never do a different pump. Um, I use the Medela, like yellow standard one. It's like free with insurance for my first baby and it was great, but I had to sit down and be attached to it. Wearable pumps are great. This one I just love because it's so easy to charge it and just put in your bra. And it is very like, very much concealed. I have used it on a flight so many times. As you know, I travel a lot for work. So this has come in handy. I just put it right in my carry-on bag and it's perfect. Just make sure you keep it charged and make sure that you change the parts about every month to month and a half. The little green parts on it do wear out pretty fast and that's when the suction gets less. So if you don't have those parts incorrectly, I think that's where people run into mistakes here. But LV, love you guys. You are amazing. These are such good pumps. And I'm so glad I purchased them again because now I have a backup one as well if in case anything happens to these ones. And you know, 
I pump enough to like really need that, but I do prefer actual breastfeeding. Um, but it's just nice to have the pumps because it does help with that oversupply. So yeah, I'm gonna start pumping probably tonight just to see if I can get, especially <laughs> my left breast, I don't know why it's so engorged. Um, it always seems like one side gets more than the other, which is funny because this is usually the favorable side, the right side for all my babies. Uh, but he's been feeding well on both. So I'm letting him do both as much as he needs to, but uh, we will continue the night. I gotta do some dishes and then wash these out uh, and then probably full laundry and go to bed because I know I'll be up tonight with a newborn. Watching one of my favorite YouTube influencers, Miss Fit and Nerdy. She's so great and honestly one of the best fitness influencers out there. Pumped a little bit with the LV. I didn't think I was gonna get much. I only pumped for like five minutes. This is for both breasts. The one is not swollen, the right, but the left is a little swollen, so trying to not get mastitis, like I did with my second baby, like three days postpartum. Um, I did do a little pumping, and then I actually have my haka on right now with a little bit of salt water, and I'm trying to uh, work out anything that's going on right now on that breast. So it's feeling a lot better, not nearly as hot. And the baby is about to wake up, so he's gonna have to feed anyway, so good timing here. It's about 11.15ish, and we are going to bed. So here's my little Robert, laying next to us in the little bassinet. Um, yeah, but... I'll keep track of the feedings tonight and see how many times he wakes up. The hospital is about every two hours, so I'm kind of banking on that right now. He's making some noises, so I might try to feed him before I actually go to bed. Bed, um, and then I have my little right over here diapers, my prenatals in there. Um, I don't really have a nightstand right now just because of the way our king size bed takes up so much room in this room, but it's okay. The baby's more important than a nightstand any day. Uh, but yeah, I'm excited. First little night sleeping here. And this is the first time I've ever had this set up for any kids because we got our new bed. So it'll be interesting to see how this works. And I'm digging my hair right now. It's kind of out of control and insane. And hey, it's great. Hello, I'm just waking up. It's 8.30. Um, I've really been up since about 7.50. The kids were up then and they do tend to come to our bed every night. Um, so they did it last night and they, you know, had a little surprise because the baby was up a couple of times feeding. So Richie had to get used to that. So maybe this will make him not always sleep in our bed because he won't want to have to wake up and do this. But he was interested last night because it was something new. But yeah, today, still just adjusting, getting some things done, trying to get the house cleaned and prepped. My parents are gonna take the kids again. Uh, they watched them while I was in the hospital. Uh, and I, it'll be nice because I can get some final things arranged done, put away maternity clothes, make sure all the baby stuff is set up because the majority of it is, but I just need to reorganize it a little bit because I didn't quite have it in like the spot that I wanted. Uh, he came a little quicker than I thought. I thought I was going to have this whole week to plan for him. Um, but yeah, I think today I'm going to start my how to dress uh, postpartum series on Instagram. So if you like those little reels for fashion, check that out too. Um, and we are going to go on with this day. I'll probably film this till about hello, a little after lunch because I will be like really the first 24 hours with him here. Um, and yeah, we'll go from there. Well, it is official. My milk is coming in. Um, I look a little ridiculous because of it, but uh, did want to do a little body update because we are now four days postpartum. And I actually think, I don't know why, but I do look the best I have any postpartum at this point. Um, my uterus has already went down, my stomach's looking a little flatter, so we'll do a little body update. This is no flexing or anything either, so all relaxed. Definitely extra skin, but like, I'm feeling pretty good. So I forgot to wrap up that vlog. I started another one and forgot to totally close out the last one. Um, but yeah, that's the first 24 hours of the newborn. It was actually pretty easy as far as like actual kids were easy, which I didn't know if that was gonna be the case now that we have three instead of just two. Uh, baby's been super easy. I'm 10 days postpartum now editing this video and getting it out. Uh, but 
everything's been going good. I mean, besides I had a little milk issue, just too much milk came in too fast, um, which it kind of started at the end of that, of this vlog. But you know, that happens. The first few days of breastfeeding are always a little uncomfortable because you just get too much milk. Um, I know I've talked a lot about that in this video. So TMI, sorry. I mean, that's just postpartum though, right? So yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Check out my 24 hours at the hospital with a newborn. Um, and yeah, I got a lot, lot more content coming out. Uh, and I'm going to be starting my postpartum fitness journey actually ran for the first time today and felt really good. So I'm going to be writing out a whole plan of what I'm going to do, making a video about it. So stay tuned if you're interested in that. Bye. Woo.